No yet, okay? Just try it, guys. Please, guys, take one of them, take some beans, and let me show you, please, outside. It's so warm inside. It's like a free sound. You are tasting Tinto in this country, it tastes bitter and also looks black, guys. You will be surprised with the coffee colors during the coffee process. filter like this why guys I am looking for remove the paper flavor because we are using paper flavor paper filters so we don't want to feel the papery flavors at the end in our cups guys if you want to come close and smell you will understand why I am using a lot of water to wash the filter guys you can smell it smells used today my ratio the amount of water Time because I have timer here on the scale and also I'm trying to looking for the balance between sourness levels bitterness and also the sweetness okay that's why I have to use a specific amount and also I'm looking for precision that's why I'm using the scales exactly 35 grams of coffee now you can imagine how long does it take to make the coffee are recorded at this way it takes a lot of time to be honest yeah for me, guys, to be honest, this is my ritual every morning. This is my morning routine. It's true. So, thanks for your patience. So, here. To be honest, this is the best way to grind the coffee. It's just grind by yourself, okay? It's more effort, so you can appreciate a little better to cut every day, okay? You wanna try? Okay. And also, every time we go later everywhere. We go late everywhere, so. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, we don't care about time. This is the main reason, the coffee. <laughs> coffee is the reason, guys, okay? Please don't... So you're the expert. Sure. Smells good, smells nice. You see, in between 87 and 85 degrees Celsius. Why, guys? I am looking for sweetness. So my personal recipe, as I trained it before, when I use lower temperature, perhaps, we can highlight the sweetness. Sometimes, I tried it before, when I use higher temperature, Perhaps the higher temperature hide the cold the flavors. So I want that you can feel the complex flavors and also the clean flavors from Chemex. That's why I prefer just use lower temperatures. Just in this case, because if I do another method, I will change all the varieties, okay? Temperature, the amount, the ratio, the water, all of them, okay? So guys, if you want to come here and see what happened here, feel free, guys. Well, as you see, I am using scales because I am looking for precision with the water that I will add and also about time. Time is one of the most important things. So basically what I always do is just start the time and I will start to pour the water just to make the blooming guys. What means the blooming? Blooming is just add a little bit of water just looking for cover all the coffee surface like this and after this I will let it bloom. If you come close you will see how it's increasing the coffee bell and it looks like a muffin. And you can come close your nose and smell it. Now the fragrance becomes into aroma. Can you smell it? Yes. So basically, I am looking for the gases I will miss it because if I don't, if I add the whole water, at the end you will feel a stringency. And the stringency you will feel right here on your chin. So 45 seconds later, when the gases just are released, I will add a little bit of water, the first pour, just making circles, drawing circles from the middle to the edges. Can you see? You see the circles and the bubbles. Guys, remember, if you want to see, come close. Don't be shy. Come here. This is a whole ritual. This is a whole protocol to make one coffee. I know, I know you're waiting for your cups. So please, guys, be patient. Like this. Why I am pouring the water slow, guys? When I pour the water in a slowly way, I'm looking for just less friction between particulars. So less friction between them, more sweetness that you get at the end. Some baristas recipes use the water very aggressive just to highlight the acidity. If you like acidity, guys, go out there. Okay. If you like the sweetness, 50 of them. Remember, I will add up to 500 of them. Okay. Yes. Just a bit more. Just let it dry. And the last pour is a large pour. 
the last one with the large pour, very long, I will add just 150 milliliters up to 500 milliliters, okay? And this is the whole recipe, okay? You do it four times every time? Sometimes three or four times for chemix. When I use the three per 16, the manual pour, or the, the manual pour over, I prefer to pour the water for five times. Y5, Y4, Y3, every single pour struck different details of my coffee. Acidity, sweetness, balance, body, and bitterness. That's why my recipes is pour the waters in very slowly way. To be honest, every time I prefer to use coarse ground size. <coughs> because I have to pour the water at different times. Some barista recipes use medium ground size because they have the water two or one time, okay? But it depends your preference and also the recipe. Five hundred of them, and just let the gravity net just work, and that's all. As you see, three minutes—it's a good time between.